I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out, righteousness. Elizabeth brought something to me that had been brought to her by Purple Grace over the weekend regarding what's happening in the Scandinavian nation of Finland, up there in Norway and Sweden, over yonder, across the pond. About their actually putting in jail or threatening to put in jail a, a, a person who's a member of the Finland parliament with respect to quoting the Bible, especially when it comes to this LGBTQ stuff. But I'm going to let you listen to it, to the tape itself, and then I'll come back with some comments. Mr. Engineer, roll, if you will, clip number one. Yes, yeah, Steve, it's, it's pretty shocking. It, it, this is a story that is one of the most uh, troubling stories that you haven't heard of, meaning the average American hasn't heard of. You've got a member of parliament in Finland who literally just tweeted out a Bible verse, scripture from the book of Romans, from the Bible, uh, talking about the issue of uh, LGBTQ type issues in Finland. And now she's facing charges, facing two years of jail time. A bishop uh, then echoed that sentiment. And this bishop is similarly facing up to two years of jail time. Now, people can disagree about issues. Right. But if you're talking about putting people in jail for quoting the Bible, and then the prosecutor said that the Bible can't, quote, Trump finish law. The prosecutor said, don't worry, you can keep your Bibles, but you know what? You just can't say you agree with it. That This is a really <laughs> chilling reality in a Western civilization country. This isn't Iran. This isn't China. This is Finland. And the American people need to know this is coming to a theater near you, and it's coming to you in the form of the Equality Act, which is why I opposed it, because that would similarly start to criminalize the way that we approach our disagreements on issues when they're based on our faith. And I know Tony uh, has spoken eloquently about this before. And, and Tony, you say the Bible essentially is on trial. It is. Uh, Steve, faith is at the stake. The Bible is on trial. The outcome of Pave and Johanna's case could literally criminalize the Christian faith and free speech. Now, this case, as Chip said, is a warning to the Western world that, quite frankly, has been asleep in the pew. And this is not about some theologically remote part of Scripture. The prosecution, as you played in the intro of this, made clear that this is about the heart of the gospel, the use of the word sin, they said, can be harmful and therefore illegal. And this, of course, is the core teaching of the gospel that right. we're all sinners and we need a savior, and that savior is Jesus Christ. And Tony, can you imagine if uh, these people are convicted for simply citing the Bible? It's chilling. It is absolutely chilling, and I think it's a harbinger of things to come if we don't stop this nonsense, this uh, ideological drive to purge any form of really the foundation of Western civilization, which is Christianity. Sure. Uh, Chip, I'll give you the final word. Yeah, Steve, look, I mean, you know, uh, Holocaust survivors uh, teach us a lot. And Ellie Wiesel said that the worst crime that was committed leading up to the Holocaust was silence. We cannot be silent in the face of this. And God bless Pivey, God bless uh, Bishop, Bishop Poyola for standing up for their freedoms. Guess what? The prosecutors offered them a deal. Walk away from what you said. Walk away from your faith. Walk away from your Christian faith and recant what you said, right. and we won't prosecute you. They didn't do it because they're standing up for their beliefs. Americans, this is coming to you. Let's stand with these, these brave uh, Finnish patriots and, and, uh, and make sure that we're fighting for our religious liberty. Well, I'm thankful for this excerpt, but I, I, a couple of corrections. The statement, the last statement there, America, this is coming to you. My friend, it's already here. It's already here. It isn't coming. It's already here. And, and in the, the earlier statement that America, the, the church is asleep at the switch. No, it isn't. The church is actively participating in it. And everybody knows it. So the, the background here is that this, the, Finland wants to put this parliamentary, this person who's a member of the Finnish parliament, uh, in jail for quoting the Bible. And the, the scripture text, obviously, that was used was a denunciation and a biblical, uh, uh, if you would, denunciation of the same sex marriage ideals. And, and then, of course, you heard at the very end, they were offered an opportunity to recant, just say that they would turn their back on God's word. And the sentence would be suspended or not given. 
they didn't do that, and praise God. And, and I don't plan to turn my back on God's word. But the thing I think it's, a, you know, I mean, I appreciate this. I think it's a great article. I think it's, a, I think it's earth-shaking. I think a lot of people, you know, will may, may, maybe hear this and will say, okay. But my, my concern is this is already going on, at least in my life, who I am. You know, a couple of things I like to point out that's happening in America. I think it's worse than what they're doing in Finland with respect to condemning the Bible. Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy, Obama, laughed at scriptures. And black Christians and white Christians and Jews and Catholics could not get enough of voting for him and loving him and licking him, licking on him like he's an ice cream sickle or ice cream, ice cream cone. Barack Hussein Obama laughed at the Bible. And Christians loved it. Oh, Barack Hussein Obama, the long-legged Mac Daddy, laughed at Jesus' teaching of the Sermon on the Mount. And they couldn't wait to get to the polls. The churches and church leaders and all their robes and their phylacteries and all their paraphernalia and their private jets could not wait to get to the voting booth to vote for Obama, who laughed at Jesus. You know, they're talking about Roe versus Wade being overturned, right? What did these liberals done with this Justice Kat- K- Katanji Brown Jackson? She was asked a simple question that had as its essence that this whole business of teaching five-year-olds sexual orientation adverse to their sexual or their birth gender. It, it, that what her thoughts were about that, and then they, that that a five-year-old should be protected from that. She did not stand up for the children. <laughs> not only do they not, not want to protect them in the womb, they don't want to protect them once they're born. I'm telling you, listen, I appreciate this article. I do see everybody. I thank you for, you know, for bringing it. But listen, I'm here up here in New York City, and I'm persecuted every day because I will not turn my back on God's word. I preach the word of God. Man shall not lie with man, and they call it hate. Now, uh, okay, they cannot drag me in the court as of yet, but they in the court of public opinion, they've spent money on television, newspapers, schools, books, churches, poisoning the minds of the people in my sphere that somehow or another I'm a hate preacher. They've dragged me in the court for it yet. But they, what they have done is that they've dragged our church property in the court and said we're going to take it and turn it into a wedding chapel for gay people is what they've done. So it ain't coming to America. It's already here. <laughs> Eddie Murphy need to go back and get coming to America number two. No, my brother. It, it's already, you know, I can understand it for the people that are non-believers. But it's the church people who condemn me for preaching God's word. Man shall not lie with mankind. Businesses, we can't get an account with PayPal. They won't get us an account with Visa or MasterCard. I'm persecuted. They're dragging me in the court, trying to take our property. They've used everything within their power, especially the Hamites and their churches, to poison the minds of people and tell everybody that I'm a hate preacher up in Harlem, that I hate black people. I mean, so... I'm getting a little worked up here. But I'm not going to turn my back on God's word, and God's not going to turn his back on me. Let me add that. I'm not turning my back on God's word, and God's not going to turn his back on me. But, you know, the Southern Baptists, the Catholics, they've already gone to this. They've already, Fox News listeners, everybody, even the Trump supporters. (laughs) They've gone ahead and accepted. They don't care. They've gone ahead and accepted this business lock, stock, and barrel. Now they're running around trying to make themselves pat themselves on the chest because of somehow or another potential that they can overturn Roe versus Wade. But the Trump supporters and everybody else, they're just as bad as everybody else, every damn body else. Everybody knows it. It's as bad as everybody else. We're in a tribulation for crying out loud. And the Trump supporter Southern Baptists, they ain't going to stand up in the pulpit and say homosexuality is wrong. They ain't going to do that. No, sorry, Bob. You ain't going to get one of them. To, no, sir. Mm-mm. They're not standing up in them churches and declaring what this person did, the uh, preacher did over there in Finland. They're not going to do that. 
So it's already here. But I, you know, I've been going through this now for years. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm not turning my back on God. No. The, only, the only truth we have left in the world is the word of God. That's the only truth we have left. And I'm holding on to that of my dear life. And God's going to hold on to me. I'm James A. Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord servant. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. Yeah, Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom all over Harlem. But Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. Yeah, Satan, I'm going to preach your kingdom down. Satan, I'm going to preach your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom But say that I'm going to preach your kingdom down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say that I'm going to pray your kingdom down. Say that I'm going to pray your kingdom down. You've been building your filthy kingdom all over this world. But Satan, I'm going to pray your kingdom down. Put that in your, in your book, Satan. I'm coming for you, homie. I'm coming for you! Oh, no! That's what God said. That's what God said. That's what God said.